All right. Um, uh, there's another uh, quest I didn't do um, because I was trying to maintain I was trying to maintain um, neutral reputation with the Powder Gangers. But at this point, I really don't care. So I'm gonna go back to Good Springs and help Trudy and the people deal with the Powder Gangers. The Powder Gangers are after um oh geez, nicotine withdrawal. The Powder Gangers are threatening that guy Ringo. And so I have to help them, and I'm going to go into the Prospector Saloon. We wouldn't miss an argument. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? Well, are you going to pull those pistols and whistle Dixie? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Hello? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Be careful out Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the Ghost Town Gunfight quest. Um just because I wanna get it out of the way. And it is kind of a fun quest. Um, even if it is like totally a starter quest. Poseidon! That's close enough. Who are you? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a... Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just get Sunny Smiles, and that's it. Um, I'll probably also convince Trudy to help. But that's the, that's it. I'm not gonna get like easy Pete's dynamite. I'm not gonna talk to Doc Mitchell. Tumbleweeds. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. 
A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. I'll be waiting. Hello. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful. Yeah, um... I don't really need to do that. So I'm not going to. It would be a good option, and I'm cer I am certainly have the money. You know, actually, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do it. Um, let's talk to Chet. Because, like, I don't have, like, really high speech or barter or anything. Well, I do have a, I have a significantly high speech, but I don't have a really high barter, which is what I need for him. Hey there. And, um, I do have the money, though. You looking to buy some supplies? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Yeah, see, I don't have the, the I don't have the barter for it, but I do have the caps. That's more like it. The people can pick up their extra ammo and leather armor when they're ready. Was there anything else? Take it easy now. Okay. Um, now I'm just gonna do this. Oh, maybe I should also get my hat. Um, okay, so anybody who knows about Helsing knows that, um, that, <coughs> that, <coughs> um, Alucard has a very, um, iconic outfit. You looking to buy so, some supplies? Like, he has the long coat, and he has, yeah. um, he has this wide brim almost like Undertaker's looking hat. And, um... So I'm gonna get that hat. The black hat. And I'm also gonna get his red suit. Because, come on, that's awesome. And accept. Another satisfied customer. Take it easy now. Change my look to something more stylish. Now, aside from the long hair, he looks a lot like him right now. And this is just, um, uh, Moraylan's professional suits, um, like, well, this, the, the Vlad suit is, um, it's a retexture of, uh, of the Eulogy Jones outfit. So what's going on? What? Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Actually, I can run faster with my gun right away. I've been looking for a mod that allows you to have, like, a chest holster or, like, um, allows you to put, put your gun, um, away in your breast pocket or something.
Nope. Did I accidentally kill someone I wasn't supposed to kill? I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. Oh, it was just Joe Cop. I thought I shot someone else. Could have sworn I shot someone I wasn't supposed to shoot. Because they were like, what have you done? So, who did I shoot? Now that was a powder ganger. He's dead. Do you think someone would have cigarettes? A cigar. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so that, that was the ghost time gun fight. We just completed it. I'm just switching back to the my black suit. Okay. So um I'm I be, I'm gonna be going back to the Eldorado gas station because I was actually much farther than this. So I'm going back over there. There we go. Now, that probably belongs to somebody, but you can see how much I care. Now, what does the withdrawal do to me? Effects. Oh. Okay. That's actually a hell of a, uh, that's a hell of a debuff right there. Um, I don't like that. This person smokes way more than me. Yeah, he's like basically a chain smoker. Oh wait, traveling merchant, you probably have cigarettes. Hey there, need anything? Sure, here's what I got. Oh. No, no cigarettes. It's okay. Hey there. Need Um, I'm, um, I'm gonna start a new video from here, because now I'm back on, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. So, um, see you guys later.